Hi, I'm Brad Meyer, restaurant critic for Houston Community Newspapers. I'm Mark Cater, and I invent party gags. Brad, pull my fingers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to do that. But I should have done it when we went to Shanghai Bistro down in the woodlands. Yeah, that was, uh, how far down is it? It's off Research Forest Drive, right before you get to Gosling and take a left on something. Take, take a left at the big rock that looks like a tree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. This is a place that was recommended to us. Uh, by visit by viewers just like you. Thousands of viewers. <laughs> or you one. Know, uh, Brad, can I say just before we get too started into this, you know, uh, with uh, Chinese restaurants, it's very difficult for me to review them. They need to be extra special to get my attention. Well, here's the thing. You know, Chinese restaurants, we don't have a lot of them around here. We have a couple of stylized ones, and then we got a bunch of places that really aren't that good. And uh, they're, they're not distinctive. They they all kind of seem to have the same sort of menu, the same sort of items it's on fast. the menu. Yeah, and there's little icons to let you know what's hot and what's mm -hmm. not. And I would say this is an okay place. It's not... It's not nothing special, but it's not bad. Uh, it's not bad, but if you put their food down with a bunch of other foods and blindfolded me, I couldn't tell you. See, I got, and I'm, they're wondering out there, Brad, I got the uh, shrimp with lobster sauce. Ooh. And I don't know what lobster sauce is, Brad. I, I, I think I it's a sauce made of lobsters. Whether they lobster in or what, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, and, and tasted it. It was good, but it... I couldn't say it's better than any other lobster sauce. Well, and, and that's that's the unfortunate thing. Now, I, I as usual, I like things spicy, and I went for the uh, the pork with with the garlic sauce. It had the little chili pepper icon behind it. And while I'm talking to you, <laughs> wasting my time, not paying any attention, I got one of those hot peppers in my mouth and bit down on it and chewed it up, and uh, it was hot. He couldn't talk for a while, which was yeah. really a blessing. Yeah, uh, but I'm, yes. He I'm not anything. sure about that, <laughs> but that that made it a little distinctive. Uh, I, I didn't know you could get anything too hot for you, Brad. You're yeah, always... no, there there are certainly ways to get beyond my heat. But your your uh, platter was very ample. It looked like to me. You, if you Portion size like... was pretty good. I, I didn't have a complaint with that. Um, I, I thought our waitress was unique. You know, she she was an Asian uh, of of some sort. I'm not sure whether mm -hmm. she was Chinese, Japanese, Korean, or whatever. But but she was she from was Boston. from Boston. Boston. Made Boston. sure she knew that she was from Boston. She yeah. wasn't a cowgirl. Cool. She was from Boston. And instead of writing things down on a pad, she wrote everything down on her hand, on her arm. You know, all over the place. So that was kind and of I interesting. And I asked her about that. I said, "Why are you doing that?" And she said, "I forgot my tablet." Which I thought was very strange. I mean, yeah, I was... lots of paper in that restaurant. I think she could have found an alternative. We both got the com uh, combo meal. It comes with a uh, an egg roll. It was on the lunch menu. And Brad, the egg roll was uh, a lot like just cabbage in a roll thing. I Not didn't distinctive. discern anything. Uh, yeah, how about that soup? Brad, the soup, <laughs> I got... <laughs> she said that it was something like, do you want the hot and sweet soup? And I said, is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> and she yeah. had already written down the soup. I said, no, I don't want that one. What's the other one? She said, egg... Uh, egg drop. Egg drop. Brad, that was the thickest egg drop soup I've ever seen. It was gelatinous. It I, was so I think thick. you could have put that spoon and stuck it in there, and I think it might have stood up for you. It's either... It's uh, generally too weak or too thick, and this was as thick as I've seen it. Yeah, but the taste was pretty oh, was good. good taste. I, I didn't have a problem with that. Uh, dessert. Did they have any uh, special Asian desserts? Uh, not a one, Brad. No, no they In didn't. In fact, one said there's the lady that wrote on herself said there's none, but the other lady who was listening said uh, yes. We oh got yeah, well, we cheesecake. got cheesecake, absolutely. And so they brought over a, a chunk of cheesecake. Now I stuck, or I tried to stick my fork in it. I couldn't get it in because the thing was frozen solid. And I sort of pointed out to her that, you know, it was more of a bludgeoning device than a dessert at that she moment. She was so sweet. It, well, she did take it back and she microwaved it for 30 seconds and brought it out and it was much better. Perfect. You know, all in all, I think Shanghai Bistro is a decent place. It's decent. You know, I, I don't think I would drive 40 miles out of my way to go there. But if, if I was in the area and wanted a little Asian food, a little Chinese food, a little uh, egg roll, some uh, spicy beef, some spicy pork, Hey, decent place to go. If it's food, they've got it on their menu. It's volumes of stuff. Lots of stuff. I, I think they've got six pots, and they just, you know, add from column A and column B and yeah. throw it together, and that's what you get. No it's spice. Beef, oh, it's no pork. spice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Absolutely. and Brad Fork, we almost flipped without saying the ribs. They have the best ribs of any Chinese place I have. Well, let's let's not go too. They were good. They I've were had some they were bad better Chinese ribs, bro. Really, that's one thing about the Chinese restaurants in Montgomery County. They don't know how to do Chinese ribs. 
This place at least has a has a clue. They were pretty darn good. I would say it was probably the best part of the meal. Yeah. Um, I got so, them all over me, and you couldn't eat them without getting them. Yeah. Thing, right? So anyway, Shanghai Bistro down in the woodlands. Good place to go. Check it out. See what you think. It's okay. Hey, until next time, bon appetit. Adios, I'm Brad Meyer, folks. restaurant critic for Houston Community Newspapers. Yeah, and I'm with him. There you go. Okay. Till next time, bon appetit. Later. I know. 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 I